Hey everyone! In this video, Dr. Melek demonstrates how to perform an anesthetic injection in order to block the supraorbital and supratrochlear nerves. This procedure provides complete anesthesia to the skin of the forehead to allow painless repair of lacerations. So the other thing I want to just demonstrate is basically the supratrochlear nerve and the supraorbital nerve. Um, and, it, and again, that comes out just right above the eyebrow. You can actually feel the, uh, the foramen. And, um, and, and essentially, uh, both of these nerves then will do an anesthesia for the entire forehead as well as the, uh, the, the, the muscles. Let me interrupt Dr. Melek to describe the indications for this procedure, as well as list off the equipment you will need. The most common indication is for repairing lacerations to the forehead area. However, other conditions benefit from this procedure. Debridement of burns and abrasions, relief of acute pain from shingles of the forehead, relief of postherpetic itch, and treating the pain of supraorbital or supratrochlear neuralgia. The equipment you will need include a 3 to 5 milliliter syringe, 2% lidocaine or 0.5% bupivacaine, an 18 gauge needle to draw up the medication, a 25 or 27 gauge inch and a half needle for injecting the anesthetic gloves, gauze, and chlorhexidine or betadine solution to sterilize the skin. Uh, after sterile preparation, then what I will do is I generally just uh, take uh, my needle and I inject in a fanning motion. I just go straight across and I get both nerves. Um, as I inject. I, I move fast. In general, the recommendations is to aspirate, but uh, there, since I'm moving fairly fast back and forth, I, I don't aspirate routinely. But then this, again, gets the supratrochlear nerve and the supraorbital nerve, and that'll give you anesthesia to the forehead. 